Okay. All right, cool. So, um, so right. So I'm here at, we are here at Malibu Lagoon. Um, the students are out doing a quick 10 minute walk just to get an overall sense of the site. Um, when they come back, I'll start the official tour that I'll record and post for everybody uh, later, since that won't be streamed live. Um, but uh, just a quick show, a quick uh, audio. Uh, how many of you folks have been here to Malibu? Even though, you're, even though you guys are home right now, you're not here in the field with us. How many folks have been to Malibu Lagoon before? Maddie has. Only Maddie. Oh, uh, Christopher has. Sylvia has. Oh, Sylvia hasn't. Okay, cool. All right, good. Okay, so there's at least one person uh, uh, who hasn't been here before. So great. So let me just orient you if you guys haven't been here. We are um, essentially uh, Malibu is a very thin town, right? It's, it's basically from the ocean to the ridge line in the Santa Monica Mountains for 20 odd miles. Um, uh, but what most people regard as sort of downtown or central Malibu is right here. So this is, this is where the town hall is. This is where the sort of big shopping uh, uh, center is, movie theater, that kind of stuff. So Malibu Lagoon is right, um, is right there. So we are on, uh, on a little uh, parking lot just off of PCH. Malibu Creek is the primary water uh, shed here. And that's, what th that's a year-round uh, flowing water body. That's taking water essentially from the San Fernando Valley, cutting through the Santa Monica Mountains, dumping out to the Pacific Ocean behind me here. This area is, is, an, is an entrainment of water that we use the term lagoon for. Lagoon is a type of wetland, um, but uh, persistent lagoons, technically speaking, it's in, a weird, it's in a weird state. It's not exactly a wetland because it never fully dries, or at least usually never dries. So, um, so lagoons are typically one component of a coastal wetland. Um, and in this case, let me see if I can put my phone up a little bit so you guys can see better. Uh, so in this case, this area, which is normally impounded, so for most of the year, there's standing water. There is still standing water right here, but the, the, um, the plug, which is at the, oh, there's a, the sandy beach over there at Surfrider Beach, the plug is popped open um, recently, and so this water level has been allowed to drain. So this is more typical if this mouth, if this were an always open or mostly open wetland, this is much more typical of what the water elevation would be like uh, right now. Normally, the water would level would be four, five, six, seven feet higher uh, elevation wise as water is impounded. Uh, now, uh, uh, Right, okay, so I'll say that. So this is the lagoon setting. So what's happened is we have fresh water coming in as you're looking at this coming from behind you. Over here is that bridge is uh, Pacific Coast Highway under which flows Malibu Creek. And, and you know, so, so there's a main part of the channel where the water, the, the flow is coming from here going out to the ocean. So that's that era, area we refer to as the main channel. This area here is a, is a side pocketing, an area that is sort of off the main flow, never really gets high scour, even if it's in the middle of a winter storm, even in the middle of a big downpour, the water here would always be much stiller, much, much uh, uh, slower moving than the water over there. Um, uh, uh, I'll talk about, when, in my recorded video, I'll talk more about this, talk more about the story here, but suffice it to say, this area has been heavily altered by people, historically uh, uh, and, uh, and, and, and recently. Um, there was a, uh, uh, the first effort was in the 70s to do a little bit of restoration. That didn't go too well. It was redone in the late 80s, or actually mid 80s, sorry, mid 80s. And then it, um, and then it uh, was again redone just most recently with the construction that finished in 2013. And so, um, and so here, like sometimes we talk about restoration, like the restoration, this is really more restoration one, restoration two, restoration three, et cetera. And so, so uh, yes, yeah, so that's the deal. So uh, uh, key things here, just, just to sort of highlight for you, endangered species. 
So we both have threatened and endangered bird species as well as fish species. The fish species would be tide, the, is the tidewater goby. Um, and uh, some of you might have taken a class with, with Brenton Spees and, and that, that's his big shtick. He's our, he's our uh, global expert on uh, tidewater goby population dynamics, et cetera. But this is one of the hot spots for that particular species. Uh, bird wise, the main thing we're talking about here are snowy plovers. Um, they are mostly in the area where the sandy beach part is. And then the rest of this is just wetland. So uh, a key wetland, but, but uh, not a very large wetland, but compared to the fact that we've lost so many of our wetlands historically, this is, this is an important site. So for birders, this is a super popular area. For any impacts to wetlands in Los Angeles County, because we're in Los Angeles County, this is a place people always seem to turn to as, oh, well, maybe we can do something at Ma Malibu to augment the impacts uh, that, that we see, et cetera. Okay, so the other thing just by way of framing here before, before, before we uh, pause this brief introduction is as we look, uh, so watch, definitely watch the videos I have posted on our, on our uh, Malibu trip page. Start with the drone one. The drone one, which is sort of looking down, give you some perspective. We are essentially surrounded by people here. Um, the most important ones are going to be that we'll talk about are going to be behind us, which is the shopping center right over here, which is called Malibu Colony. If you guys can see the houses that, um, so basically, if you guys are just watching this for the first time, there's the wetland here. You see those folks walking, there's some guys with some Degla orange surfboards. That is along the edge of the property. Right behind them are houses. On the other side of them is the ocean. So Malibu Colony is a key part of the story. And then another key part is right over here, this mansion right over here that installed illegally installed their own golf course, which is another part of the uh, interesting management stuff. So, uh, so the summary is that a lot of the residents here didn't around here didn't like the fact that it smelled stinky here. It was anoxic because of the reduced environment, and so they blamed everybody else for the problems. And they have been fighting this ever since, including insane rhetoric, and include including fighting. Uh, um, um, funding uh, misinformation and, and deceptive campaigns and things of that nature. So, so part of the a large part of this restoration isn't just figuring out the ecological situation, it's figuring out the, the, the sociological situation, the human situation going on. So anyway, so that, that's my brief intro. Again, watch the videos. Everybody's coming back from their initial uh, couple minute walk around. I will record our, my discussions here and uh, and, and, and watch those videos. Also, we have a little quiz that it's, it's phrased as a quiz, but really it's just, I wanna get feedback from you guys. Uh, before five o'clock today, after, you can watch that. You can do that after I post today's video, um, uh, but you can also do it if you're just watching the, the introductory videos is probably enough for you. Um, and so with that, I'm gonna, because the internet connection is gonna be really bad as soon as I start to move around, I'm gonna cut our Zoom link here so you guys just go watch the, the embedded videos, unless anybody has questions. Anybody have any questions here about Malibu or something um, that you wanna ask me? Uh, you can also send me questions in Slack, but, but is there anything, any introductory questions before we start our, our tour with these guys you guys wanna ask? Or are wondering about? No. Okay, all right, well, great. Well, so, um, so uh, we'll start in a second. Uh, look for the video. I'll, I'll, I'll send a, a Slack notice as well as announcement when I get this this tour video up and added to our existing videos on that page. But then that, um, I think we're gonna we'll call it for today and look forward to seeing everybody next week. And again, uh, your your uh, first part of your coastal characterization is due uh, next week on Friday, and we're in groups. And so if you forgot who your group members were or not everybody was here last week when we assigned groups. Those groups are also in the, the field trip uh, module, the, the Malibu module. And so again, you guys are just turning in one characterization per group. And I will oh, also, um, I'll be posting some images and video. If no one from your group is here because people are sick or nobody could make it, I'll, I'll send a link to that so, um, so that for next week, because part of the characterization is that you guys include some pictures from the site. Um, in, this, in this instance, I'll have, better if you guys use your images, but I have some, I'll have some there just up to cover your butt if you guys uh, couldn't get here and other members of your group couldn't get here. Cool? All right, you guys, any, any last questions? 
All right, go watch those videos, and we'll see everybody next week. Thanks, you guys. See you next week.